Wakanda provides you a robust error management system both on the server side and client side. Error management allows you to effectively communicate errors to end users as well as structure your code to handle those errors. We'll start client side in the browser. In the data store model, company name has a length restriction between 5 and 10 characters. When we attempt to enter a value outside of this range, the browser alert is displayed with a message. This is the default behavior. Next, in Wakanda Studio, we'll place a display error widget on top of the detail form. This is where we will display our error messages. The ID will be error div 1. With the company name input widget selected, we'll change the display error property to error div 1. We'll save and run this in the browser. We'll put in a value under 5 characters. You can see that the error div 1 widget takes on the automated message. Sometimes the automated wording is not what you prefer. We can also define custom error messages. First, we will set a message from the client side. We will add error div 1 to the URL text inputs display error property. Then we will add an on blur event. We'll enter the code if the Wakanda reference to the URL text input dot get value equals empty string and then set a message in the error div 1 widget if the URL is blank. Wakanda reference to URL dot set error message brackets and then the parameter object message URL cannot be blank comma tooltip true which will also populate a tooltip when the URL text input is hovered over. In the browser when we attempt a blank URL the error message is displayed with our specific wording. Finally we will set an error message from the server when validating a save request We'll go to the data store model and add an on validate event to the company data store class. This will execute prior to a save. We will enter the code if this dot sales volume equals zero return and the error object error we'll use number one hundred comma error message sales volume cannot be zero. This will return an error to the on save event and in turn to the browser. We'll save and reload the model. In the interface page, we will set the sales volume display error to error div 1. In the script of the save button, we can set our notification in the on error section. The Wakanda reference to sales volume dot set error message brackets then the error object message error dot error position zero dot message which is the message sent from the server comma tooltip true we'll save the file and switch to the browser when we set the sales volume to zero and save the message regarding the error is displayed Finally, some widgets can provide automatic error notification to the end user. In the company data grid, we will specify the display error checkbox. Optionally, we could also specify a container for these messages. Now, when we bring this up in the browser and make an invalid entry to the sales volume column, a pop-up will be displayed explaining the error.